Um, so let's start. Um, first, I want um, uh, to congratulate you all for being here today. Um, hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Um, thank you for attending, and thank you for the FX Street to give me the opportunity to speak. Uh, my name is Telmo Pinto. I'm the founder and director of Market Operations at Efficient Trading Group. Uh, for those who aren't familiar, we are a team of professional traders dedicated to provide simple, real-time, unified trading solutions for investors. Uh, okay, I hope you have all a great weekend. Um, for those who are with us first time, uh, it's important, uh, or it's better, if you can see our previous recorded webinars, they are available at fx3.com. In order to see um, the tools I use uh, to define the entries and exits on the market, uh, it's good to to inform you all that on the Wednesday we will have the big webinar, okay, the two, the two hours webinar, uh, where I will uh, explain topics, okay, and uh, how to build a trading system from scratch, okay, using rank of our charts and market sentiment indicators. I will go through the money management. I will go through the, how to define trends, the exits. Okay, uh, it will be very, very important. I think for all, for all traders, and it's good. It can be there. So let's start here. Uh, it's important to read the disclaimer. Um, any comments I made or any levels I show on the webinars, they are not a solicitation to invest. And you should carefully consider your financial situation prior to making any investment. Uh, it's preferable to seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any questions or concerns. Okay, let's move forward. For those who don't know yet, we have a service automated forex trading signals. They are automated to the MT4 platform. Okay. You can see more info at the, the link show on the slide. If you are a fx3.com user client, you have a 10% discount, okay? Uh, these are our performance statistics we have till now. We have around, okay, 45% for the year since inception. Uh, all, all performance details are on the fx3.com or at our website at intuitiontrading.com. If you have any questions, please uh, please contact us through mail. So I will be more than happy to answer. So let's move here for our platform. We had some curious moves today. As let me hide here on the 55 and 89, we'll go there. But let me put here, okay, the 21 and the 34 pips. We had an interesting move yesterday. This was the opening, okay, from yesterday. Sunday opening, market go here and test this level, which is approximately, okay, is this level here, was the level of, of less congestion. You can see this congestion at this side. Let me put here, okay. This was, a possible support area as we had here some congestion prior to make okay market go there this was 128.10 level okay 128 market pull back from there and we have now a possible retest of the 129.54 area okay and this will be the key level for the next week Okay, for this week. We know that on Friday we have the non-farm payrolls. So this is um, the typical, okay, the typical, the typical week of non-farm payrolls. Uh, big players taking positions, okay. But the levels now, you see on the arrow, are the 129.54 or the 128. Okay. If market go to 129.54, and then retrace, this is, for me, a very bearish signal, okay? 
because market went there, then gaining some amplitude on the movement here, okay, could, when I, when I say gaining amplitude, we could break this low here, so market gaining some amplitude, then, okay, could break up, this, let me put the line here, so you can see better, okay, then go up here, testing, could break, the 129.54 was a level, okay, market couldn't do that. Then was almost straight down. Only this congestion area, all the market, at least for now. And then we have two two possible scenarios here, okay? And these are, like I, I said in the beginning of the, of the sentence, okay, this is the key level for this this trading week. If market can break the 129.54 area, we can expect, okay, at least a come to 130.50 level. Okay, retest that level again. Okay, because from here, okay, we have here this level, okay, the 129.80, but this is for me the the confirmation of the break of the 129.54. Okay, if market can go to 129.80, I will definitely go long from here, okay? I'm already long, okay? But if I'm not long, I entry, I enter it on this break, okay? On the break of this retracement, okay? I will explain how I enter at this level, I will explain. But now let's focus on this level. If market break the 129.54, the confirmation is the 129.80 area, okay, and we can expect a re-entry on this range here, okay, this is three bars, is about 70 pips, so a retest of the 130.50 level, 130.40, 130.50 level. On the other hand, if we if market go there or approximately go at least to this level, okay, the 129.36 uh, and then retrace and when, uh, and you know, uh, the, the investors that follow us uh, these past weeks, uh, I always look to, on a downtrend, I always look at lower high. Okay, so this is important level 129.36, but now I think market must go to 129.54 before decide where is the place to go, okay, or where, better say, where is the direction. If can break, okay, we know that the proximal resistance will be 134, 130.50 level, sorry, 40.50 level. If then down, we have the 128 and my weak target, that is 127 level, okay? I will go show why I choose the 127, but this is completely in accordance with the 34 pips. If you see, we have down, up, a lower eye gear, again down, Again, a lower eye gear, then down, then we don't know, but a possible lower eye gear, okay? Even if the market go to 129.50 level, this will be a higher low, a, a, a lower eye, sorry, because it will test this level here. This level is 129.57, so 54, 57, 57. Five. Okay, the 129.50 area is the key. If go there and couldn't break, we for sure have an extension of this move. Okay? So these two are important. If we go to the 55 pips, okay, continue showing that a possible down. This is a clear downtrend on the market. I'm not saying that the big, the big trend is down, okay, but for now we have 
we have we have one down, one up, retracement, okay. If can not hold, we can expect a test of this level and then a possible come to here, okay. The level to test will be for sure this. And why I call my target for this week the 127. Because in order market confirm this up move or, or this up trend that takes place at beginning at 6 September, okay, when the ECB made the comments and then the non-farm payrolls report, market rate goes straight up, okay. We have this level here, okay, that was our first test now, the market top there, okay, the 128 level, if can go up of the, on the 129.54, for sure, for sure, they will go test this level again, and possible go and test the 127. If you go now to even a larger time frame, okay, the 89 pips, we see that market is retracing here. But the only level we can see now here is this. And this level is the 127.20, 127 area. Okay? That's why I think, at least in my opinion, market even go to 127. Okay? Don't, uh, don't reverse the big trend too short. Okay? It will not uh, invalidate this strong up move. Can go there, or the, and after that, can go and test the 132.50, and after that, the 134 level, uh, 35 level. Okay, but this is the key for the major. 127 is the key. So this week will be very important for the pair for the euro SD, and we have here all levels and clues. In order, we can make good decisions for our trading okay we know now that 129.54 is the key when first 129.36 then the 54 and if not old okay can go down straight to this level so if you are a mid-risk trader and want okay to play on the range you can enter your short at 129.36, okay, with 40, 50 pips stop here. Or if you are a moderate trade, okay, and you like to trade the range, the 129.54 is the best level to short. Because you are risking only, okay, let's say 40 pips, but your profit can be seven can be uh, more than 100 pips okay so this is very good uh, re risk reward ratio trade okay the short entry at 129.54 if market break okay you have to thread your stop there and then collect your profit to 130.50 at least okay so let's go here to the order book. Let's see if you have more clues about the market there. Let me open here. Let me put it in English. It's better for all. Okay. What we can see, and let me put here the cumulative. I already talked about this on previous webinars. It is important. This is the opening, the Sunday opening, okay? Then market goes down, down, down. As you can see, and I alert this many times, when you see this narrow, okay, at here, for instance, these narrow orders here, open position, if you can see here, there are no long positions below this level or the 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 ratio between short 
and long are very low. So at these levels, market will pause for, okay, more than 80% of the time, market will pause here, okay? Because there is no players on the market that can feed the continuation of the trend, okay? So market pause, then gaining some, and, and as you can see here, the longs beginning appear, 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 and what we have now is completely the reverse, okay? We are now reversing from this. At this level here, we have almost longs on the market. At this level here, 129.20, the levels we are now, 129, yeah. 1020 or 1520, okay, the shorts on the market are narrowing. That's why this may confirm our levels we see, the 36 and the 54 level, in order we have a good short entry. Uh, I was saying that uh, when, for instance, uh, you are on a short trade, let's see you are on a short trade, Okay, uh, and you want to take partial profits on your trade. Okay, and you have, okay, I can think this is a support of the market, uh, but I'm not completely sure. But when you see this narrowing, okay, this lack of long position, in this case we are short, this, this lack of long positions on the market, you can have one more indicator that this may be a good spot not to close completely the order, okay, because we don't know what market will do next, but to take your partial profit here. Okay, and you will see this about 85% of the time. I know that with that because I use this and about four years now, and this is very good indication, okay, market will pause year. I don't know if market will continue the trend, but at least it will pause here. So if I am expecting to get the best or at least the a very good level to close my partial profits, this is a good level. Okay, when I see this, this is a good level to close partial profit. Okay, then Market begins to go up, up, up. This was from yesterday, the 128.10, and now we are here at the level. And we can see that we are reversing completely, okay? Now, we are having a, a narrow year on the, sh on the short, okay? We are beginning to lack the shorts, the shorts on the market. We go here to the net, then, and this confirms, okay, we have here, if we see here, we have more or less a distribution of the market when go down, okay, more sellers appear, but after that, and when market begin to go up, huge sellers appears, and you know, we know already that when these huge sellers appears, market will tend to go opposite side. And is that what is happening here? Now we have more or less, but we continue to have more, the majority of the investors are sellers, on the, are on the sell side, not on the long side. But it's like a balance at this level, okay? But I think we'll see uh, euro at least 129.36 and then 50 area, okay? But this is my opinion. Now, if we see here the stops, this will even more agree what I said. As you can see, this blue here on the orders only, you can see we have these gaps. And you already know that when we have these gaps, market will not okay, allow these gaps on the price. And these gaps are the shorts. Okay? The shorts, the, the investors that are short, these are the stops. And the level, if you see, are at 129.40 level, okay? So that's why this will even more confirm my idea that there is, 
there is a high probability that market will go and test at least the 36. Okay, can go probably do a spike and go to the 50 level. Okay, right now this is the levels we have here. Okay. We can't reinvent the wheel because the wheel is already invented. Okay, so we can, and we we don't and and we don't need to know what market will do next in order we collect our profit. Okay, we need to play what market is doing now. I'm not worried what market will do tomorrow or Wednesday or Friday or Thursday or Friday. Okay, we need to focus on today and what is happening. Okay. And this is what is happening. This is the levels we have. And this is the tools we use. So let's go here again to the platform. Okay. We are here. Okay. Market's coming down again and testing the 129 level here. Okay. So this is the level, this level here. Okay, this, I'm going extension here. This is the level where the stops or where the majority of the stops are. Okay. The majority of the stops are at 129, above 12930 area, 40, 50 area. So, market can test now the 129, okay, because it will go to the 20s and we know the 20s and 80s are very solid numbers in order to go through them, okay, and didn't test that level first. So market can test here the 129, even can go to 128.80, okay, but in my opinion, it will go test the 129.40.50 area, okay. If come down, what we can do, and we need to see a possible break, okay, of this level first, a confirmation, and then, a con okay, a, s a possible confirmation of this level here, in order we, in order we can see that market have momentum to go at least through this support line here, okay? So, if we see market went down and test here the 128.50 can break and, okay, the 128.30 can't hold, we can see the market at least go and test again these lows or break through these lows. Okay, so these are the levels for today. We'll see how market will, will go through here. I'll give you all the hints, okay, in order you can see and in conjunction, in, Okay, in agreement with your trading system, you can have your more clues, the level you want to see. So let's go here to the to the questions. MRC, can we explain the cumulative to be easy to understand, like the blue and orange are the four parts of the graph? Okay, MRC, let's go there. I have dedicated two webinars to that, which will much better, okay, if you can see those webinars, but as we have here, I will go through that. You can see the recorded webinars at fxstreet.com, but let's go, we have here more three minutes. Okay. So, the open positions or the open orders, okay, are orders that are in the market, but they are not realized, okay? They are stop or limit orders, okay? This is the open orders. The blues above the price, because price in here is quoting, let me do a refresh here, okay? Price is quoting now at one, okay, in here, this have a delay of about one hour, so the the blue above the, the blue above the, 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 the price are the stop orders, okay? These are stop orders. That's why when you, you hear me say, okay, that probably that stop, these are stop orders. The orange, okay, are mostly limit orders. In this case, sell limit in, on, on the lower buy limit, 
okay? This is the open orders. On the open positions, these are the realized positions, okay? These are positions that are already in the market. The blues here are the, the positions that are losing money. They will be always the majority of the trade. The orange are the trades that are winning money, okay? They are in the money here, okay? They are winning money. The blues are losing, okay? This is related to the net position. If we go to the cumulative position, okay, these are the accumulation of the orders. Okay, this is the accumulation of the open positions on the market. They are on the market. You can see here at yesterday opening, market went down. There was a lack of long orders. So, like I explained, this is good position so we can think in close partial profit because market need to gain momentum, okay, need to feed from the orders to go through and we are now having this other side, okay. The orders only, these are the accumulation of the orders that are not on the market, okay. As you can see here, the majority are below the price, but the majority are buying orders. Okay, so but on the on the communities, I only seek this um, the open positions in order to see this it is inefficiency of the market in order to spot good levels for partial profit. Okay, on the other side, the net, I look at the orders only to see where are the stops on the market to get more clues and the positions to see if the majority are short or are long in order to uh, decide if the high probability is to go up or to go down. Okay, I hope you have, you have uh, understand here. If you have any questions, please, we have, I have dedicated two webinars related to the, to these tools. Um, sorry for my voice, I'm, uh, I'm a bit cold, but it's okay. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed the session. Uh, hope you see you all tomorrow. If you have any questions, please uh, let me open here. Okay. If you have any questions, uh, please go to our website, intuitiontrading.com, or email us, uh, email me at tradingdesk at intuitiontrading.com. I'll be more than happy to, to, to answer your questions. Okay. Uh, you can see more details too on fxstreet.com website. So um, thank you very much for attending. Um, this is Tom Pinto here. So uh, hope you see you all tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Bye.